Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to discuss about infrared spectroscopy or IR spectroscopy. This video will cover the following contents. First, an introduction about infrared spectroscopy, followed by principle of infrared spectroscopy, instrumentation of infrared spectroscopy, steps in infrared spectroscopy, applications of infrared spectroscopy, advantages of infrared spectroscopy, and finally, limitations of infrared spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy or vibrational spectroscopy is a technique that measures the interaction of infrared light with matter. This interaction can result in the absorption or scattering of infrared radiation, which can provide information about the molecular structure and functional groups present in a sample. Infrared spectroscopy is an analytical technique that takes advantage of the vibrational transitions of a molecule. Infrared spectroscopy is one of the most common and widely used spectroscopic techniques employed mainly by inorganic and organic chemists due to its usefulness in determining the structures of compounds and identifying them. The method or technique of infrared spectroscopy is conducted within an instrument called as infrared spectrometer. Principle of Infrared Spectroscopy The principle of infrared spectroscopy is based on the absorption of infrared radiation by molecules. First, a beam of infrared light from a source is split into two and passed through the reference and the sample respectively. Now, both of these beams are reflected to pass through a splitter and then through a detector. Finally, the required reading is printed out after the processor deciphers the data which is passed through the detector. Instrumentation of Infrared Spectroscopy The instrumentation of infrared spectroscopy contains five major parts. They are infrared radiation source, sample holder, monochromator, detector, and computer and output system. The first part in the infrared spectroscopy is infrared radiation source. Infrared instruments require a source of radiant energy which emits infrared radiation which must be steady, intense enough for detection and extend over the desired wavelength. Various sources of IR radiations are as follows. Nernst Glover, incandescent lamp, mercury arc, tungsten lamp, global source, and nichrome wire. The second part is sample holder. The sample may be in various forms like solid, liquid, or gas. In solid, the sample is observed as pellets or thin films. In liquid, the sample is held between the salt plates like NaCl. In gas, the sample is observed in a gas cell. The third part of the IR spectroscopy is monochromator. Various types of monochromators are prisms, gratings, and filters. Prisms are made of potassium bromide, sodium chloride, or cesium iodide. Filters are made up of lithium fluoride. Diffraction gratings are made up of alkali halides. The fourth part of the IR spectroscopy is detector. Detectors are used to measure the intensity of unabsorbed infrared radiation and detectors detect the infrared light after it passes through the sample. Common detectors include thermocouples, bolometers, thermistors, Gole cell, pyroelectric detectors or photoconductive detectors like mercury cadmium telluride detectors or MCT detectors. The fifth and final part of the infrared spectroscopy is computer and output system. The signal from the detector is converted into a digital format and the spectrum is displayed as a graph of absorbance or transmittance versus wave number. 
steps in infrared spectroscopy. There are five steps in IR spectroscopy. First, the step one is sample preparation. Depending on the physical state of the sample, solid sample may be prepared as a thin films pressed into pellets with potassium bromide or applied as mulch or a suspension in oil. Liquid samples are often placed between sodium chloride or potassium bromide plates that is transparent to IR radiation. Gaseous samples are analyzed in a gas cell with longer path lengths. The second step is selection of measurement mode. The spectrometer is set to either transmission mode or attenuated total reflectance mode which is ideal for solid samples or aqueous solutions. The third step is infrared radiation passing through the sample. Infrared light is directed through or reflected off the sample and the sample absorbs specific frequencies and causing molecular vibrations. The fourth step is measurement of absorbance or transmittance. The detector records the amount of light absorbed by the sample resulting in a characteristic or your spectrum. Finally, the step 5 is interpretation of the spectrum. Peaks in the IR spectrum correspond to specific vibrational modes of bonds. By comparing these peaks to known reference spectra or functional group frequencies, the chemical structure of the sample can be analyzed. Applications of Infrared Spectroscopy Identification of Functional Groups Infrared spectroscopy is highly effective at identifying functional groups in organic compounds. Each functional group has a characteristic absorption range. Structural elucidation. IR spectroscopy provides structural information helping chemists to determine molecular frameworks, identify unknown compounds and confirm molecular structures. Pharmaceutical industry. In pharmaceutical industry, IR spectroscopy is used for the quality control of drugs, determining polymorphism in pharmaceuticals, identifying active ingredients, and verifying the purity of pharmaceutical products. In polymer and material science, infrared spectroscopy is used to, to analyze the composition and structure of polymers and to study the curing of resins and characterize plastics and rubbers. In environmental monitoring, IR spectroscopy is used to detect and quantify pollutants such as gases and vapors, example carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere by analyzing their characteristic IR absorption bands. In food and agriculture, IR spectroscopy is applied in the analysis of foodstuffs for the identification of fats, proteins and other organic molecules. It helps in determining the composition and quality of agricultural products. In biochemical analysis, infrared spectroscopy is very useful for studying proteins, lipids and nucleic acids. IR spectroscopy can be used to monitor secondary structures in proteins or study molecular interactions in biological samples. In forensic sciences, IR spectroscopy is used to analyze chemical samples at crime scenes such as paint, fiber and drug residues. IR spectroscopy helps in identifying trace materials and providing evidence in legal cases. In art conservation and archaeology, IR spectroscopy is used to study ancient aircrafts and paintings, identifying pigments, binders and degradation product in art and archaeological samples. Advantages of IR spectroscopy Infrared spectroscopy is a powerful analytical technique with several advantages. Non-destructive, IR spectroscopy analyzes samples without consuming or altering them. Simple and quick, IR spectroscopy requires minimal sample preparation and rapid results. Functional group identification. IR spectroscopy accurately identifies functional groups and molecular structures. Qualitative and quantitative. IR spectroscopy provides both qualitative identification 
and quantitative concentration measurements. Minimal sample preparation. IR spectroscopy perform direct analysis of many samples with little or no preparation. Versatile sample types. IR spectroscopy can analyze solids, liquids, and gases using different techniques. Fingerprinting capability. IR spectroscopy produces unique molecular fingerprints for compound identification and purity checks. Broad application range. IR spectroscopy is used in pharmaceuticals, environmental science, forensics, food and more. Real-time monitoring. IR spectroscopy allows in-situ analysis and monitoring of chemical reactions and processes in real time. Wide spectral range. IR spectroscopy detects a broad array of molecular vibrations for comprehensive analysis of compounds. Cost effective. IR spectroscopy is relatively inexpensive technique with low operating cost. Non-invasive for biological samples. IR spectroscopy can be used for non-invasive analysis of tissues, cells and body fluids. Compatible with other techniques. IR spectroscopy can be combined with other methods like Raman or NMR for more through analysis. Finally, eco-friendly, IR spectroscopy requires no solvents or reagents, reducing environmental impact. IR spectroscopy is a valuable tool for researchers and analysts due to its ability to provide detailed information about the molecular composition and structure of the samples. Limitations of IR spectroscopy Some of the limitations of IR spectroscopy includes Limited to molecular vibrations, requires IR active molecules, complex spectra interpretation, limited quantitative accuracy, low sensitivity, water interference, unsuitable for metals or ionic compounds, sample thickness dependence, weak for light elements, limited isomer differentiation, background interference, sample preparation challenges, calibration and baseline issues, temperature sensitivity, and finally, overlapping absorption bands. Dear viewers, that's all about the IR spectroscopy. Thank you for your support. Thank you.